What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm at SEMA in Las Vegas, and this caught my eye. Do you know what kind of car this is, just by looking at it? It's hard to tell, huh? I'll give you a hint, it's a Nissan. I'm at the Nissan booth. Can't tell what this is, huh? This is actually a Nissan Rogue that's built into an Overland vehicle. Isn't that cool? You don't really see Nissan Rogues being used as the platform for an overland vehicle but yeah here's one right here it's compact lightweight all-wheel drive it's got a little bit of a lift it looks like not much but a little bit it's got uh i think those are rock sliders they look like rock sliders but this is a unibody kind of vehicle so it, it has to be mounted to the body i would assume i mean there's no frame so it's on the body nice wheels those are nismo wheels Yokohama Geolander MTs, the mud terrains. It's got a cool uh, topographical wrap on it. So they don't make a full steel bumper, but they do have two bumpers. So a little bit of protection. Nismo lights, no winch. So you're not winching yourself out. You better not get stuck or high centered on anything. <laughs> it has a 2024 Nissan Rogue customized with a bunch of Nismo parts. Has a little bitty awning, that's cool. Let's see what here. What else we got? Got a roof rack so you can carry your kayak. Full size spare in the back. Oh, look, it's got um, center exhaust. <laughs> that's cool. Nismo. It's got his full size spare in here. Oh, here's something you might miss if you didn't look. There's actually some kind of cage for. Um, strapping things to it that's cool and here's your roof rack it's a nismo branded roof rack you can carry your mountain bike up there tracks that's cool man but look they got more stuff though see look i'm at the nismo booth look at this the z car so first off let's go back in time here's a datsun 240z remember the old datsuns it's a two-wheel drive or i'm sorry yeah, rear wheel drive two-wheel drive yeah, look at that stick shift. He's got communications on the inside, old school paper maps, little fire extinguisher. That's crazy. These kids nowadays, they don't know how to drive manual, manual cars with a clutch. <laughs> look at those toggle switches, fuel, fan, spotlights. That is just cool. And then it's been lifted a little bit. It's got some uh, old school off-road lights. Original bumper. That is wild, man. Look at that. He's got a light bolted onto a bracket there. That is wild. The old 240Z. I don't even know what year this is. It's probably a 70, late 70s maybe. Look at that exhaust. It's like hanging on there. <laughs> He's got a little tiny bracket. I don't even know what that's for. Probably for holding a jack or a tire or something. I don't know. Those are the tires in the back. So I don't know what those little racks are for. He's got mud flaps. But uh, look at this. So here's the modern version. The, the latest Z car. Yeah, it's the, the car that came out just a few years ago. The modern Z car. Yeah, it looks like it's the middle. And I like it, man. This is a cool little sports car. It's still compact. It's not gigantic. The same thing. They put a little bar in the front, just enough to hold some off-road lights. Even the style kind of looks like the style from the old one. So they put these pods with modern LED lights with the big pods because, of course, they had big pods on the old one. It's got some uh, ditch lights. A little bit of a lift, off-road tires, got some uh, mud terrains on here, not much clearance, it's going to bottom out quite a bit, you can kind of see in there, so again this is stick shift, which is cool, and then rear end, pretty simple in the back, just put some mud flaps on there, but yeah that's nice huh? That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and keep walking around the Nissan booth. So I'm assuming this is a Frontier. I actually uh, 
have some experience with the Frontier. My mom and dad had a Frontier back in the day. My wife had a Frontier back in the day. Yeah, these new Frontiers are actually pretty nice. I think they're uh, nicely competing against the uh, Tacoma and the American mid-size trucks. Took them a while to get up to speed, but yeah, the, the new Frontiers are kind of nice. I like them. They didn't even clean this one off for, for uh, SEMA. Oh, look, they got uh, Milwaukee uh, toolboxes. You can get those uh, at Home Depot. But yeah, full size spare in the back. Actually, two full size spares in the back. But yeah, that's a quick walkthrough at the Nissan booth at SEMA.